Now back to Matt in New York. Thanks, Krishna. Well, welcome back to Lower Manhattan, the site that's still known as Ground Zero, where the emotional ceremony to mark the 10th anniversary of the attacks on the World Trade Center is now drawing to a close. I'm joined by two of the people who've been personally involved. Kathy Bruno, whose fiancé Paul Bristow from London was killed 10 years ago today. He'd been attending a conference on the top floor of the first tower to be hit. I'm also joined by Anthula Castamatides, whose brother John died. He was a trader with Cantor Fitzgerald on the 104th floor of the same tower. Welcome to you both, and I'm sorry for your loss. Thank but you. 10 years on, how raw are the memories of that day still? Anthula, you first. Uh, the memories never leave us. The pain that we feel for our loved ones never really goes away. There is no such thing as closure that we feel. Although 10 years later, because we have our new memorial that was opened today to the family members, there is a different sense of hope and renewal and life that comes along with being at the memorial this year. Um, when did you last see your fiancé and how did you hear that he had died? Uh, I was actually at home when it happened in the morning and uh, he had left uh, around six o'clock in the morning to go to a conference and uh, to go to prep for the conference and it was a friend of mine who was English actually living in Chicago who called me up and told me that this was all going on and um, I didn't believe him I ran to the TV turned it on and it was just you know I you, you just don't want to believe it at first um, and then from there it was I never heard from him again and Thula, does it make it easier having the world's media here having this whole extraordinary kind of staging of this memorial. Does it make it easier or is it an intrusion into personal grief? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, while sometimes it may feel like an intrusion, at the same time, we want to be able to tell the story of our loved ones so that the world knows about them, so that we never forget what happened on this awful day. And of course, because of the memorial, we want the world to experience this re, you know, renewal effect of having our memorial here where we can come and grieve but also leave with a feeling of hope. And yet 10 years later, this is still a building site, isn't it? Much of it. Yes, it is. It is still a building site, but eight acres of it is dedicated to the memorial. And oh, so really? it's progress. And uh, we're looking forward to the next 10 years, I'm yeah. sure. Kathy, what has the legacy of 9-11 been, uh, not just for you personally, but also in your estimation for this country? Oh gosh, it's a hard question. <laughs> Has it made America better or worse? Um, that's a really hard question because I think it's it's brought a lot of skeletons out of the closet, things that probably need to be talked about, um, things that we've just really never uncovered before, and now people are questioning um, their lives and you know what this all means and, and actually, you know, trying to think positively about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And Thula, a lot of the people I've spoken to in the last week have talked quite emotionally um, about a loss of innocence for this country. Do you agree with that? A loss of innocence? No. I would imagine that what has happened in this country is we've created this newfound sense of innocence because we thought that something of this nature would never happen in the United States and the fact that it did really did sober us up for as a country. People should have known, you're saying, that something no, like this No, I don't think. I just think that we should, uh, you know, always expect that something that happens in other countries can also happen on our soil. And now I think we are better for it because not only in the emotional days after 9-11, but this tremendous outpouring of support and service that came out of every person in this country really was quite but, wonderful. But that spirit has vanished, hasn't it? This country is now more bitterly divided than it has been for, for decades. Kathy. Well, now we're getting into politics. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there is there is division. And, I mean, it's obviously apparent now with everything that's going on and, you know, the new election coming up. But I think um, more than anything, with especially our group of people, I find that it has created a greater sense of community. Um, I'm meeting so many more people through this and um, people are wanting to hear our stories and there's millions of stories to tell and that's why this is really great. And, and how important is this day not just about remembering the names, the individuals who were lost that day, but also remembering that spirit of solidarity that flowered here 
at ground zero well, will yes. be quite briefly. Matt, actually, I think the very first thing is remembering the people and the names. And then because today is also a 9-11 National Day of Remembrance and Service, it is about the outpouring of support. It is about the wonderful, compassionate nature of people in that day. And, you know, we're here to honor, remember, and reunite in essence, you know, to have that feeling of hope and, and, and camaraderie come back. And I think, I think it, it's achieved. It really is. I mean, I, I, I think on smaller scales. Um, and, and to remember what life was all about, right. I think, more than anything. Because I, I, I think I live more now than I did before. True. You do? Yes. Absolutely. Good point, Kathy. Absolutely. Yeah. Cherish every day. Absolutely. 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 This part of Lower Manhattan, of course, we're very close to Wall Street. Um, you've got Tribeca, one of the trendiest parts of town just up the road. Is this going to really be a revived part of the city? Will this become the kind of piazza at the heart of Manhattan when it was a hole at the heart of Manhattan? It already for has. It already has. It already Definitely. has. People are coming back in droves. Yeah. And, and I'm sure the uh, commercial uh, folks will be back as well. You know, the, the companies will be back. And the fact that millions of people. This is all about people... reviving. Of course. Sure. It's all about the revival of Lower Manhattan because it's all about renewal and rebirth. And I'm very excited to say that you see that going on in Lower Manhattan, you know, during the day and at night. Okay. Got to leave it there. Sorry. Thank you very much to you both, indeed. Thank you. Well, this anniversary is personal, not just for the people here, but also for so many all over the world. We leave you tonight with some of the most striking images of a day to remember. <laughs>